Okay. So, to most of you that play with Pirates and Remnants enabled, this is a familiar sight. You have a colony that is completely undefended and the pirates or remnants just show up and you have no ships anywhere in sight that can possibly defend the colony. Well, as Douglas Adams said, don't panic. First thing to do, switch on all your repeat cues. Uh, the next thing that you do is queue up your fighters or bombers. Uh, it's a good idea to start on the fighters and then shift into bombers. If you want to build them on all of the planets at the same time, select build on all selected, and there you have it. Now, it will produce fighters until you tell it to stop. And those fighters can actually take out those pirates quite easily as you will soon see. I must remind you that these are the modified fighters and not the basic fighters, so they move slower, but they can actually tank more damage and have more health. So you can see they are just swarming the pirates and this is this is a swarm defense as opposed to building one really huge ship that can just one shot these guys you just completely swarm them and they just get surrounded and there you go one pirate's already down and if you're a smart cookie you can actually get that with a salvager and earn yourself a little bit of extra cash you gotta watch your resources when you're doing this because it can get expensive pretty fast. There we go, we got they took out one of my haulers which you know doesn't really bother me that much. They're pretty cheap. And yeah. So the pirates will start running once they get outnumbered. See so they're outnumbered now. They're gonna try running away. There they go. He's fleeing for his life. And even though these fighters don't do much damage, I would like to quote uh, Captain Sheridan from Babylon 5. Uh, one beast sting may not kill you, but a lot can. Okay, so that's not a precise quote. No, but it's close enough. So yeah, bee stings. This is early game though. You know, as a, as a, as you can see, it's um three systems, four in one of them, one in another one, and your home system completely colonized. Oh, isn't that cute? He's attacking me with one of my own fighters. Hello, fighter. You gonna die, worm? Anyway. Okay, so he took out my hauler. Took out all my haulers by the looks of it, actually. But the pirates are going to retreat just simply from the sheer numbers that you are presenting them with. switch off those other planets which should allow my home world to pump out fighters at a faster rate ah uh, yes this is the next issue I wish to talk to you about when you reach a certain amount of spaceships you will develop lag and not just a little lag, you develop lots of lag. This is where your CPU comes into play. The better the CPU, the less lag you get. I 
mine's brand new but as you can see with uh, all of the ships that are there I don't know why it's fucking doing that 178 fighters it's giving me a little bit of lag which actually doesn't make sense because usually I can have like 3000 and it won't even flinch That's the fighter they stole off me. Oh, he's dead. And there you have it. That's how you defend against pirates. Uh, I'll wait until remnants come along and then I'll start the next part of it. Okay, so remnants have shown up. And you need to colonize another system. However, the problem is they won't let you do that because they destroy every colony that you put on the planet while they're there. So you have to be able to get rid of them. All of those fighters that you've been making while the pirates have been coming and attacking your colony, send them there. This will clean up your fighter population so that you don't have to uh, use your CPU power to support them and will also buy you some time to build what you really need which with remnants as you can see 80.2k is usually dreadnought or above and ok that's enough colony ships but, what I am going to do, see if I can import any new cruiser designs, guess not. So, we've got a cruiser here with 83.8k hit points, and that's pretty much what those remnants have. So get this planet, set it on repeat, start pumping out cruisers. And... I think there's someone at that planet. Select the planet where you're building them, and just set your rally point in their system. Now the fighters will keep them distracted until your cruisers get there. Once your cruisers get there, they'll just clean up the mess. Other pirates show up while your uh, fighters and cruisers are all dealing with the remnants of the system you want to settle. Just start pumping out fighters from every other planet in that system. Mm, building at a pretty good speed, but we'll see if we can improve that in any way. Check our civil acts. Uh, we've still got the academics campaign going. Let's switch that off. And it looks like we're short on electronics more than anything else. So we'll switch it to an electronics focus. Let's see how fast that's building now. Seems to be pumping them out a little bit faster. I mean, it's it's not much. Maybe about five percent, but. It can make all the difference when it comes to when it comes to the end game, if you know little tricks like that. Especially if you're versing a hard boss, a hard AI. Yeah, the fighters are just basically there as cannon fodder. I don't really expect them to actually kill the remnants. I just expect these guys to show up and finish the job.
Oh, it looks like that remnant's gonna go down anyway. Slowly but surely. For the horde! I mean, swore! And yep, all the remnants are down, and I didn't even need the cruisers for that one. So, we'll send them to the next spot where I spotted some remnants, which was that place, I think. Send them there. And this colony is ripe for the taking. Just right click, auto colonize, come back here, you can stop building your cruisers now, and put your colony ships, switch your repeat back on, and it'll just pump out colony ships and send them to that colony. Awesome, huh? That's how you deal with pirates and remnants. And in the next video I think I will cover expansion. Catch you later.